What's up everybody, Caleb from the Adventure Den here, and today I wanted to go over my Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom gear full breakdown of the whole cosplay. I'm starting out with the very basic, generic look, full gear, jacket, and all of that. Uh, I like to do these videos, especially going over the variances of the look, because it's really for the benefit of people who are just getting into the cosplay or want to do the cosplay and don't know where to start and maybe aren't aware that there are variances from film to film so this is really for that benefit so starting with Temple of Doom in chronological order not the order in which the movies were filmed starting out I do <laughs> wested leather boots this is a cheaper alternative to the Alden 405s which uh, could be a high ticket item the wested boots are great pants are super cheap costume based pants off Amazon a really good alternative especially if you look to uh, weather them or you know beat them up and you won't feel as bad about beating up some expensive pants so this is a Todd's Costumes Raiders gun belt I don't have a designated Temple of Doom one yet so I just uh, use my Raiders across all the looks right now and this is more of a Raiders style uh, 10 foot whip from Todd's Costumes as well I made the whip holder myself. I've got it closed with a zip tie because the actual button snap unlatches very easily. The holster, this is one I made myself and it's fully functioning. Uh, flat and empty because in Temple of Doom he loses his gun. So some keen eyed viewers might notice that the bag looks a little weird or a little off and that's because it's not the standard indie bag. So. Indy normally carries the British Mark 7 gas mask bag. This is the Mark 6, and uh, it looks a little weird because uh, this is actually a replica of the bridge scene bag as the bag catches on fire and the stones fall out. Uh, they had a stunt bag that they used. It had a patch on it uh, to cover the pyrotechnics, and it had these three vents. This bag comes from Soldier of Fortune. On Instagram, The Adventure Den, I have a little tutorial in my highlights going over how to make this the Temple of Doom stunt bag. It's just a neat item to have to kind of change up that look a little bit and have some obscure gear. The strap comes from Spade and Archer Leather. It is their Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, Crystal Skull strap, and it's just it's such a nice strap with the roller buckle on there and the leather super soft and flexible it's not stiff or anything and it's really comfortable web belt remember if you're new to it brown web belt for raiders and temple khaki web belt for everything else the shirt is a Corolian dry goods uh, this was his classic adventure shirt uh, so he has the destiny shirt which does not have the pleats running down the whole front of the shirt <laughs> and then I don't believe he offers the classic adventure shirt anymore. He does a Raiders, Cairo, a Last Crusade one, and the Last Crusade one looks like it would work very well for Temple of Doom because it has darker buttons. The jacket is Wested Leather Temple of Doom. I did a lot of this weathering on it myself. Uh, a lot of scouring pads, uh, sandpaper dragging it on cement uh, my friend Daniel walked me through the water treatment process the cold water process to get the wrinkles in it and just make it conform well to your body and it's just really nice it's a really nice jacket so this is an ad vintage Harrison that is styled in the uh, bridge scene style it's got the weird Temple of Doom top crease as Indy is climbing up the bridge there's some shots where you could see this weird shape on the top crease and uh, I don't think you necessarily have to have that in a temple hat but I prefer it. That is the standard Temple of Doom gear breakdown so we can uh, check out some different temple looks. All right, another Temple of Doom look you could do if you choose to is the Temple of Doom dinner scene. It's a really fun and another obscure look you could do because I don't see a lot of people uh, cosplaying that look. So my bow tie is not entirely accurate. I got a black bow tie for this. I think the one in the movie was actually a really dark brown with a 
florette pattern, I think is the word, but it's really hard to come by. Magnolia Clothers used to sell one, and it, it doesn't look like they have it available anymore, though you can email them uh, and express interest, so if more people want to do that, then we should. I've sent my email, so do your part. Anyways, the jacket, I don't... I could take it off and look at the tag, but I can do that. I don't remember the name of the jacket, but it's in my Amazon history, so I'll find it, and I'll include a link. And if you really want to get with it, then... Where's the bow tie? Amscray. And if you really want to get fancy, you could do that there and get yourself an apple. I should note that everything else is the same. The shirt, uh, the web belt, and pants, and boots. Hey, 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 hey! It's all the same, so you just throw on the jacket and the bow tie and the glasses, lose the hat, and that is that look. So it's another fun one to do if you want to cosplay Temple of Doom. Hopefully that AC ain't too noisy, but uh, this is the rich scene version of my Temple cosplay, so not much has changed aside from I've still got the costume-based pants, except it's a different pair, and I put the hole in, so gotta have the hand wrap. The hand wrap is, uh, I think in the movie it's meant to be a part of his shirt, but you could see in the movie and in screenshots that it actually looks like a different yeah. material. So this one I made myself just out of some gray like linen, and I've got these parts that you almost put it on like a glove. These are sewn on, and it just makes it easier to wear and it doesn't fall off. And uh, this is where this bag really shines because uh, this would be the look where this bag appeared on screen. So uh, the shirt is also just a costume-based, cheap Amazon one because I could see how it would be difficult to want to just like tear up and dirty a expensive shirt. It's got all the holes and uh, weathering on it, the lashes and all that good stuff. And a lot of this I uh, weathered with like uh, paint too. Use some of the, some tips from Kirk Brackman for that, uh, making almost like a very light dye out of water and different paints and pigments to look like sweat and stain. That works really well, but this shirt is really inexpensive, so if you don't want to tear up one of the higher end shirts, then you could definitely do that. I do want to get another shirt from Corollian Dry Goods soon, and when I do that, then I'll probably make a designated, uh, more screen accurate bridge scene shirt. But that's the bridge scene look. And another look you could do for Temple of Doom is the return to the village look. Sling the whip over the shoulder. And of course, if you're doing that look, you gotta have the stone to return to the village. This came from Landrin Artifacts on Etsy. It's an awesome stone, really hefty. It looks fantastic, and it feels like a real stone. And then, of course, the uh, Sanskrit. So I made this myself. I'd like to make a better one with some actual canvas, because I made this with, like, some bed sheet linen material but I was really proud of my paint job on here. This is a simple look, almost a more comfortable look because you don't have the the bag, you don't have the uh, gun belt rig so it's a bit more comfortable. Everything else is relatively the same and uh, it's one of my favorite looks. The hand wrap changes uh, instead of using the bridge scene hand wrap it looks like at the end of the movie he actually got some proper uh, attention to that hand and in the movie it looks like more of a gauze type material I didn't have any of that so this is also like bed sheet material and uh, I put some velcro on here so it uh, stays put and doesn't want to just come unraveled it's a great end of the movie look it's a comfortable look and it's still recognizable as Indiana Jones those are all my Temple of Doom cosplay looks Temple of Doom is one of the funnest to cosplay, I think. I always describe myself as a Raiders guy, but with a strong love affair for Temple of Doom because it has some of the funnest looks and some of the coolest looks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and there will be links for everything down in the description uh, if you want to put together an Indiana Jones cosplay and want to go for that Temple of Doom look, find your fortune and glory. Thank you very much for watching. Until I see you in the next video.